is Kissy Missy. Kissy Missy has seen some things, many things, but Kissy Missy doesn't say or do anything. Or so it seems. You wouldn't want to see Kissy Missy angry, so make her happy by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, and turning on notifications. Ah, there we go, much better now. Here's our analysis of 15 hidden details of Kissy Missy's escape in Poppy Playtime. When the video is halfway through, we can see how the workers of Playtime Company load Kissy Missy onto a train. Now, the eagle-eyed among you might have noticed that the crane they're using is the same one we used in Chapter 2 to move Brawn in the warehouse. And if you look at the workers' suit, you will see that they are very similar to the ones we saw in the Project Playtime trailer. This could indicate that their tasks are part of the protocol to recover and create toys for Leith Pierre. In one of the scenes on the tape, we get a peek inside the train, and guess what? You can see a couple of sheets stuck to the left. Do you remember those? They're the instructions we need to kickstart the train in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Mommy Longlegs snatches them away and won't hand them over until we survive all of her devilish trials. The Bigger Bodies Protocol was an initiative presented by Dr. Harley Sawyer to acquire workers for the factory without dealing with legal issues. It is alleged that humans were used to bring larger toys to life and use them as slaves. In this video, we can see how they transport Kissy Missy, and according to the text that reads, Bigger Bodies Relocation Guide, Kissy Missy would be one of the experiments that's part of the Bigger Bodies initiative. Through the security camera recordings, we can precisely determine when Kissy Missy's accident occurred on the train, assuming it was an accident. On August 8, 1995, three years after Huggy Wuggy escaped from the factory, the workers boarded Kissy Missy onto the Playtime Company train at 10.42 in the morning. 18 minutes later, we know it was still on the train, but at an unusually high speed that increased as time went on. Finally, 14 minutes later, around 11.14 in the morning, the disaster had already occurred and the factory employees had been brutally murdered. So from this situation, we can conclude that the killer had only 14 minutes to stop the train and kill the workers, leaving the crime scene almost unchanged. When the train passes through one of the tunnels, we can see the phrase, the hour of joy is at hand, written on the wall. Now, we don't think that it's a coincidence that the word hand is used, and the creators of Poppy Playtime may be giving us a hint about the lore of the franchise with a double meaning. The first one, of course, would be the actual meaning of the phrase, something good is about to happen, but it could also refer to Prototype 1006, which, as many of you may know, is a metallic hand, a subtle metaphor that would indicate that the metallic can would bring happiness to the factory. This reference and the way the phrase is painted on the wall reminds us of the revolution of the people of Rapture that occurs in the games of the Bioshock franchise. Okay, let's continue talking about Experiment 1006 because it could be present within the tape, but not as you imagine. During the video, instructions on how to transfer Kissy Missy can be read, but eventually they will be crossed out with a sinister red text without an apparent reason. Release the straps. Now, it is speculated that they could be instructions given by the prototype to one of the factory toys to release Kissy Missy. Something similar does happen in the game Project Playtime. Get up! They are trying to build more toys, more like you. It has to be stopped. Where allegedly the prototype, through telepathy, forces Huggy Wuggy to kill the employees and release the giant toys. We've been watching for a while as the train loads up with Kissy Missy, but where is she even going? If you look closely at this scene, you can see a sign that says Playcare, which is exactly where Poppy redirects us at the end of Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. When the employees arrive at the warehouse where Kissy Missy is located, we can see some familiar faces. On the shelves, there are replicas of Bunzo Bunny, the rabbit that wanted to kill us in the first trial of Mommy Longlegs. Then, Cat Bee and Candy Cat are also there. In the background, we can see a large version of Pugapillar, the strange centipede dog that chases you in Chapter 2 when the lights turn on. Mommy Longlegs is also there, although we suspect it's a replica since it's smaller than the killer model from Poppy Play time chapter 2. At the end of the video, we can hear a lot of people screaming in horror in the background. 
The image pretty much speaks for itself. We have Kissy Missy stained with blood and several corpses lying on the ground. At first, of course you might think it was her, but judging by the screams, there seems to be something else spreading terror inside the factory that we can't see. This could be the beginning of the disappearance of the employees and what later triggered the events we witnessed in the original game of Poppy Playtime. During the scene where Kissy Missy is on the train, we can appreciate a subtle change in her gaze. So at first, she keeps it lost as if none of this is concerning her. But in the next shot, we can see that she has lowered her gaze towards the camera or something above her. Whatever she saw, it seems to be what triggered the killings. Now, if there was another monster in front of Kissy Missy, it would have probably taken care of stopping the train, freeing her, and killing the rest of the factory employees. It is suspected that it could be Huggy Wuggy himself, as he had experienced making incursions outside as we saw in the previous Playtime Company video. As we see her in the final scene, Kissy Missy seems to have fair intelligence and little control over her body, so it seems she would still be in shock for a long period of time, allowing her to later escape and and wander aimlessly through the factory at her own pace. On the other hand, if Kissy Missy really was the cause of that massacre, what she would have been staring at on the train would be the security camera, trying to unsettle those who watch her. Then, in a moment of darkness, she would take the opportunity to finish freeing herself with someone's help and attack the driver. But in order to do this, she would have to be very skilled, something that we kinda doubt. The video ends with this image of either Huggy Wuggy or Kissy Missy crying. Many people believe it's a reference to Kissy Missy in Chapter 2, where her eyes appear to have blue tears underneath as if she were crying. However, this was later confirmed to be a texture error in the character when reusing Huggy Wuggy's blue model, so they were not actually tears. Now going back to the beginning of the video, we can read Bigger Bodies Relocation Guide. Do not continue watching this tape. Just below there, there are two more sentences, but they are in different languages. The first one is in Russian and the second one is in German, and they are translations of the English text that tell us not to continue watching the tape. It is curious that the tape is in these two specific languages, especially considering that Poppy Playtime takes place in the United States. Due to the time period and theme, this reminds us of Nazi experiments that were carried out on concentration camp victims like Auschwitz. Right at the top, it is indicated that this tape has been manipulated with content from another tape that was supposed to be destroyed. We do not understand the purpose of this footage, but it does seem that someone wanted to alter it to reveal the experiments that were happening in the depths of the factory. After Huggy Wuggy's escape and the train disaster that occurred during the relocation of Kissy Missy, many secrets of Playtime Company come to light. Although we don't know who is the author of the manipulated tapes, but whoever's doing it, they're helping us understand what what happened in the factory. And if you want to find out more, try watching the rest of our videos you see here. Also, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss the new ones. Thanks for watching. See you next time.